Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I had a little problem with my K1 Mac. It had a motherboard file. Uh, basically what it was doing every time it tried to move the print head, it got stuck and come up with an error message. So what I was doing was printing this helmet. Okay, so done a wonderful job. But right underneath me is the spider there. <laughs> it's an add-on. You can probably see the little ring down the bottom here. It failed there and it just came up with an error so this is the error i got when i when it stopped printing i just came to the printer had a look with, oh why is it stopped and this was the error that was on there i then restarted my printer and got this error and i kept restarting restarting that no, would just keep coming up with the same error then i restarted the printer and i tried homing the the, the he print head no still nothing same error and when I tried to move the print head with the with the controls, same thing. Okay, so what I did is I hopped online and I went into the chat on the Creality um, site that I got my printer from. And I sent, a, basically I had all my details. So you need, you'll need the serial number of your printer um, when you got it. So any receipt number and stuff. So basically it was all stored in the shop that I bought it from, an online shop. So I just went in to my order and just screen grabbed that and sent that and my serial number and a picture of the error code to the Creality um, chat line and straight away they said no problem we'll send you a new motherboard and we, from China to Australia I'm down in the western part Perth the bottom western part of Australia uh, it took I think three business days for it to get here so it arrived today motherboard so in it basically you have you got they sent some spare screws <laughs> so they go into my spare container and a new motherboard so what the other things you'll need is you need the stuff that came with your with your k1 printer some of the tools so i've got them in this i've made this little box i got the um thing from thinking it's got a little latch and everything on it so it holds all your tools and stuff in it from the k1 so you'll need the second smallest allen key which is this one here second smallest allen key you'll also need you'll need a screwdriver and you'll need some snips so there that's all you'll need everything that's come with the printer so you don't need to buy anything extra now also a little container is handy to put all the screws in so you don't lose them so I take the screws out, I put them in there, then I take them off the table I'm working on and put them over because I have knocked the um, container off the table before. So make sure that once you put the screws in, you move it off away from where you're working. Um, then you will need to go to the bottom of your printer. So you have to go to the bottom of your printer. So basically put it on somewhere where that's accessible. I put it on a table, turn it over on its side. These six screws you'll have to undo, the ones that are indicated there. The ones, the four on the feet, and then the two at the side don't undo these little ones here it's got a little um cut out where that those screws are on both sides so you don't need to undo them but the ones in the dead center middle of the sides and the four um, feet need to come off once they are off you'll have the motherboard so the motherboard you'll have these four screws that you need to undo the same allen key there's one underneath that bit of cable there there's this one here this one here and this one here so those four screws need to come out. Make sure, like I have, you take a photo of where all the cables are so you can remember where they all go back in. You'll also see on all the cables, there are these little bits of glue to hold the cables in place. You can see just about all of them have it. So you're gonna need to either cut along there. What I tend to do instead of cutting, cause you don't wanna slip and slice the cable open, but just get your snips and just put the very the very tips of them along here and just just sort of close the snips across that that glue and it sort of tends to get the glue and sometimes grabs it and pulls it off for you but it's going to be you're going to end up pulling the leads out if you don't snip the glue before you pull the cable out okay so most of them have got these little bits of glue on so make sure you snip all those little bit glue off before you start to try and pull the cables out okay so first thing i'm going to do is cut away some of these cable ties just to make it a bit easier to get at the cables and move them around be really careful you don't cut the cut the cables underneath but just use the cable type the um, pliers that you're given with your printer usually going to be the best way to do it now the easiest way i find just cut the cut the head off that way you're not digging into the cables at all 
Okay, so all the cables are loose now, so they're going to be a lot easier to replace. Uh, you probably should do that once as well. Okay, okay so all the cables are loose, so make sure you touch something metal too, so you ground yourself before you actually open the, the bag and let out the, um, the board. Keep the, keep the old bag because they're really good to uh, put electronic stuff in that you might have later and protect it from any static charges and stuff. So the way I like to do it is I like to get the board up next to and just replace the plugs straight from one to the other. Make sure you grab them by the plug too, not by the cable. Can of course label them all if you want. Make sure you take a photo before you before you pull all these cables out, just in case you need to put them back in later. Okay, so the ribbon cable you've got a little lever there. If you can see it, little lever. So just pull it up, put the cable in, then push it back down again. Uh, get it lining up properly. And once it's in, just push down. Easy, easy. <coughs> the USB's got a little little lever on the underside of it as well, so just be aware of that. <coughs> now remember, I have gone away and cut all the all the um, the glue that they put on to hold them in place. Just be really careful you don't damage the plug when you're cutting them. It just needs a little slice or a little um, nip with the <coughs> with your cable snips. And if the cable gets caught, just wiggle the plug, don't wiggle the cable. If you pull the cable out, you're gonna have to redo the plug. Uh, sometimes the whole female end comes out. That's okay because it's only there to line up your plugs. So you can just push it back in. Just line up the pins on the pl on the on it and just push it back in. There's no there's no problem if that comes out. <coughs> I know, I know I'm doing the, the awkward way and there's heaps easier ways of doing it but for someone that hasn't done one of these before I've done heaps of them but you know this I found this is the easiest way to replace a motherboard for people that aren't really sort of you know used to doing that sort of thing now this one's got a little a little um, lever holding it in so you just got to push the top of the lever and just get it out the right way. And then I need a, <coughs> a screwdriver just to undo them. Red's positive, black's negative. It's just a flathead. And you note the positive is nearest to the fuse. So that's the fuse there. And it should have it labelled I would hope. Yeah. So if you have a look on the, I don't know if you can see it down there. You can see it. It's labelled inside there, positive, negative. Just above the plug there, it's got labelled positive, negative. So if you're not sure which way around it goes. Sorry guys, it's a bit sort of wobbly. <coughs> okay, here. Whenever you screw something in guys, just make sure that you pull on the cable, not strong, make sure you give it a tug, and oh, I shouldn't say cable, pull on the plug, to make sure that it's in and it's not going to fall out, because that's basically all the cables replaced, simple as, yeah, 
it's not a hard procedure and then you just gotta put in the motherboard back in put those four screws back in and once you've done that it's just a matter of powering it on and checking that it works now the allen key i'm using i just printed out one of these little handles if you haven't seen them on printiverse oh, it's printables and thingiverse <laughs> The little handles that go on allen keys and that just uh, makes it a bit easier to, to hold you can buy them with handles already on them but they're sort of expensive especially when you're giving free ones with the with the printer um, it's a lot easier just to print them out to remember to put all the cables back where they came from there's all these little channels here to push them into and there's your runny cable tie over the top there's little holes in the side where the cable ties go so you just got to grab a set of cable ties. If you haven't got cable ties, all your hardware stores sell them. <coughs> really, really basic. Or uh, you can get a whole bundle of them, like 50 of them for a couple of bucks off um, um, eBay. You chop the ends off really be careful you're not nipping any cables when you're snipping the cable ties guys so it's not hard to do, it's not hard to put in it's just you just got to be just aware of where you, the end of your snips are and the cables are so what i do if i'm not sure i'll put my finger at the end and put the snips up to my take my finger away after i put the snips to where my finger is and then just snip away but everything seems to be routed out of the way it's going to get caught on anything there's no belts that run up the top there so the main belt is down the side here so you want to make sure that that is definitely in and the belt's not going to scrape on anything <coughs> or catch on anything that's so all out of the way there cool belt's going across here no cable's going to come loose and get caught up in that belt so that's it all done so you guys so when you get to the um self test it's going to do the self inspection make sure it's on a, a steady platform and upright okay that's what we want to see self-test complete and the print head move while we're doing it so all my problems have been fixed excellent okay so this helmet i mean lots of people do things on helmets so i don't know i'm going to do a thing on, the, on doing the larger items on the printers anyway but this helmet's come out and the error that happened you can see just under the spider there but um the problem is with this textured as you can see the textured finish if you have a stuff up like that you can't really fix it because how are you going to get the textured pattern back in when you when you sand it down or fill it so that's a problem if you have problems i didn't want to throw this away i'll give it to the grandkids or the kids or something but all i've done with this and you can see how good the print quality is it's a shame that in the last like couple of minutes <laughs> it did that but um i put magnets in on both eyes and on the back magnet so you can get into the damn thing and it just clips back on and holds together so the print on the print on this without having to do anything and this is all done on the k1 max is amazing i'm just disappointed that it didn't finish it before it stuffed up <laughs> oh well, those things happen um and i'll just print out another one for for what i want to use it for and what i want to use it for um, just leave on the shelf <laughs> look good people sort of sit there and go wow that's pretty cool um but yeah my wife keeps telling me i should sell them and make some money out of them but yeah the enjoyment's in making them eh? okay um please like and subscribe guys uh, it, it helps the channel out heaps and i'm sort of just starting so i need as much support as i can get um and i'm going to be doing a a video about building a light box next um, to take photos and stuff of your stuff and a paint box so um, the paint box and the light box are reusing old printer boxes so the cost is I think the paint box cost me nothing <laughs> and the the um, light box cost me I think it's about 30 Australian dollars which is 20 something American dollars okay so tune in if you um, keep your eyes out for that it should be around the next couple of days okay see you guys bye okay guys thanks for watching i really do appreciate your support you might like one of these or one of these videos um that i've made in the past so feel free <laughs> okay thanks guys bye